All right, so uh, other day I posted up a picture of uh, some floaters set up as uh, field decoys. And uh, a few of you have asked me to put up a video on a step-by-step -step on how to make it. So here it is. So all you need is uh, a decoy, of course, and then a quarter-inch hot-rolled piece of bar. Get onto your local hardware store. They most likely have it. Very simple process. This is all you got to do. So you got your hot roll bar, you got your decoy. I'm using a GHD rester. And all you're going to do is you're going to take it, put this inside the keel, your bar inside the keel. You're going to bend it. That's already pre bent. You take it, squeeze it off once you get it bent. What are you going to do? So you're going to put it back into your keel, like that. You're going to bring it around. You're going to bend it again. Just like so. So you want it to come out the back of your keel. Like that. The body position of a floater versus an actual field decoy is very different. But what I recommend doing is you mix these in with you know a half dozen, a dozen actual legitimate full bodies and the docks ain't gonna know the difference. You're gonna see docks, you're gonna be happy, they're gonna come down and land. Don't make a difference to them. I just recommend running it with actual full body decoys. Throw some geese out there as a confidence booster, they like that too.